We're in Whitlock Bestseller Authors.com here at the uh, Flixie booth. Flixie, gosh, this looks so much familiar. Look, look, it's my friend Rodney. Hey, I thought you were Tweet Photo. We used to be Tweet Photo, we're now we're Flixie. Flixie. So we changed the name. It's everything that people want about Tweet Photo, but new and enhanced with more features. So uh, some geolocation, event creation. People can throw photos, multiple people can throw photos in a bucket and uh, get a chair. And just, we can really become our own social network. Okay, a lot of these videos I'm making, you know I'm making a hundred videos during Blog World. You're crazy. Yeah, I know. Crazy. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I have great discussions. I'm trying to share as many of them as I can. Uh, and uh, it's obvious why you're here. Bloggers use Flixie, the rest of the world's going to use Flixie, that makes sense. But just for the for the few people that don't know you in Tweet Photo, that might be watching this, tell me what, what stands out. I can I can put a photo or video anyway, or why do I use Flixie? Take a photo and you can share it to Flixie, to Twitter, and to Facebook in one shot. Then you have easier controls over the privacy of your photos. Uh, and there's a lot of interesting things you can do with these photos. You can vote on them, you can favorite them, you can like them, you can comment on them. So it's really this kind of, let's call it a photocentric social network. That's okay. really what we do. Right. And you're not relying on everybody coming to your site to join. They're just actually using whatever, wherever they are. Whatever. I mean, we have our own with the iPhone app and we have Android and Blackberry apps coming. Uh, but a lot of people use Flixie just inherently in any Twitter client they use because there's over 200 developers that have built Flixie as the photo sharing default right, in the app. All right, so people share photos. So how does Flixie make money? Well, we have advertising on uh -huh. it. Right? Okay. Uh, but Good right old now, school media. That makes sense. Advertising, that's kind of low hanging fruit. But really, it's around, uh, we're doing some really interesting things with brands. So, brands and experiences around events. We have like an event screen that's going right now for Blog World that anytime anyone uploads a photo with the word Blog World in it or the hashtag DWE10, uh, the photo just drops into this live stream and shows the skin brand experience. So, we're doing that uh, for a number of other brands. Google will start to see this. We'll be rolling. Okay, great. And of course, your name, Flixie, instead of just uh, uh, Tweet Photo or blah, 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 URL shorteners. And we're seeing a lot more branding going in there. So it's, it's almost like it's fun to, to Flixie instead of uh, instead of just shoot a photo. Yeah, great. and Tweet Photo, the name was kind of limiting. People thought we only did Twitter. Right. We don't. We do so much more. So that's part of the reason for the rebrand and changing up the name. And then, what do we like to do? Because it was five characters, like you said, so it's really short. And Flexi is a word that doesn't exist in any language, so we were able to do some intellectual property right. there. And it's kind of a mashup between Pixel and Pixie yeah. and Photos. So and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and it's cute, too. Look at these t-shirts and everything. So, great. Wonderful. Well, great to see you, Rodney. Great to see you doing exciting things here at Blog World. I'm Warren Whitlock. Bye. Thank you.